Piers from uh, Raycom. I'm here with Rich from DPA. Thanks very much for coming in. We're here to talk about the brand new 2017 shotgun mic uh, from DPA. So first things first, what's in the box? What's in the box? So we get the microphone itself. We've got one of our clips with a lovely twist lock on them, pencil case and a standard windshield. So what differentiates this mic uh, from the crowd then? I've heard it's particularly good in uh, inclement weather conditions. So yes, yeah, so we tried to make it as durable as possible. Um, we've made it as weatherproof as possible as well. We understand that people use these microphones in very um, harsh environments and when they fail, they don't come back for a period of time. So Yeah, I mean, you might get a, a lot of those kind of deployed on a, a, a race circuit for Formula One or something. I guess you might want to deploy them and leave them out there and not have to worry about them. Yeah, or if you imagine the golf tournament, uh, they're going to be out there for a long time. I've, I've heard uh, sort of rumours about uh, DPR and d engineers spraying showers and things like that. Is that yes, true? we put it in a shower until it failed, um, which took quite a while, and then we uh, saw how long it would take to come back to life. And I gather this recovered uh, a lot faster than competitors. We found that it recovered quite quickly, yeah. So it's, it's also very lightweight, isn't it, at, at 115 grams? Yeah, so we've made it, try, try to make it as compact as possible. It's 115 grams. Um, we've also made it out of a lot heavier grade metal, so it's a lot more durable. Could you bang a nail in with it? We've opened bottles of beer with them. Now you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> it also, talking about sports and sort of loud noises, it, it, what, what's the sort of maximum SPL it can handle? Um, so at 1% THD, it will go up to 140 dBs. That's so it's quite, quite a lot. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's also non-modular, isn't it? So that, that must just, uh, make it a bit more robust. Yeah, so that's a big, a big point for how weatherproof this is compared to some of our other microphones, is it won't come apart. It, we've taken the, taken the join, we've taken the um, engineering out of the microphone, so it's less susceptible to water, in, water ingress. And I, I gather you've managed to isolate the, uh, uh, the interference tube from the actual body of the mic. Yeah, so one, one way we've managed to make it a lot more durable is by beefing up the casing, but obviously the interference tube is inside the microphone, it's not part of the body of the microphone itself. Yeah, so another another important point with shotgun mics, of course, is the, the polar pattern. I gather this one's uh, quite tight, but another biggie is the off-axis response, isn't it? Yeah, so as with everything that we do at DPA, we try to make the uh, microphones as linear off-axis as possible. So this is a very linear microphone. Obviously, you want to reject as much as you can from the side of the mic and pick up as much as you want from the front, but the, any bleed that you might get in from the side is going to be linear. It's going well, to that's, be... that's important if you might be recording multiple sources in, a, in an area and you've got bleed from other sources, you want them all to sound roughly the same, so that's, that's good. And, and the, the frequency response is, uh, what, 70 hertz to, to sort of 18 kilohertz? Yeah, it? so we've, we've made it, uh, we tried to make it as low as possible um, to, and take away the handling noise. So it's 70 hertz to 18 kilohertz with a little soft boost at 15k. Perfect. So what about markets for this, this product? I, would get, I guess it probably spans quite a few different markets, doesn't it? Yeah, so we like to think it covers all markets. So if anywhere from uh, putting on top of a DSLR, doing a run and gun, putting it on a boom, um, um, to all the way up to large sports events, as we've mentioned, the racing of golf, that sort of thing. Well, yes, I mean, as I say, it does probably span quite a few markets and uh, we haven't really mentioned the price point yet, but at the price point that it is, it would probably be even used on um, sort of higher end uh, wedding videography and, and such like. Yeah, colleges and schools and that sort of thing. So the, the sort of the, the big surprise, the big reveal if you like, is the list price of this uh, puppy is actually £730, which does put it in a very interesting place in the market. And the, the sort of value for money is pretty, pretty exceptional. Uh, so we've had a good look at the uh, brand new 2017 from DPA, but what we really want to know is what does it sound like? So we've got it plugged in, so let's have a listen. I'm going to have a little chat on axis and then I'm moving it 90 degrees off axis and hopefully you'll hear me disappearing when you come around to the back and then I will come back on to axis. How about on you? Well, this is me on axis, but uh, should we try something a little bit more annoying? I've got That's something that. in my pocket. Oh. So, this is on axis, and then we're going to move round to 90 degrees off axis, 270, into an ejection spot, and then coming round to back on axis. So that was a fun test there. So uh, before we go, is there anything else that you want to mention? Uh, I think we've covered the basics. I think so. If you want to learn more, we are going to put some links uh, in the description below to other resources. Uh, but it just remains for me and Rich to say thanks for watching, and be proud of your sound. <laughs> <laughs>